Hey guys, Carnivorous Ruth here, and today we are playing The Last Door. I stumbled across this when I was looking through Game Jolt and found out that this game had become bigger and actually has its own webpage where you can buy it or play it. So yeah, I thought I'd give it a try. So I have, I believe it's a point and click adventure game. I haven't really looked too much into what's about it. So let's just go ahead and hop in here. Headphones in dark environment recommended. Got that going on, except for this bright ass table lamp I've got. Okay, let's see. Don't need anything. We don't want to do full screen, so click. Okay, after all the things I've seen. Oh, I gotta click. Okay, so yeah, this is a pixelated point and click game. After all the things I've done. Oh, uh, don't. No, no. I, I, I'd rather not. My life is on a course that I can't escape from. Yep, that's what I thought. It's too late for me now. Oh, yay. Noose. I just hope you could forgive me someday. Oh, yeah, and we hang ourselves. You're sincerely Anthony Beechworth. Yay. The la what a way to open a game. Now, if I remember correctly, this is episodic. Like, there's two chapters each. So far, in each chapter has four parts. So, right now, this is just the prologue, the pilot. Like, the very first part of it. Although, the music is nice. I really like that. My battery keeps on dying on me. I guess I vape way too much. And yes, kids under 18 do not pick these up. That's my public service announcement. Okay, so yeah, li like I said earlier, I, I'm kind of partial to the pixelated games. Because the fact that I'm an old school gamer, I grew up on like Atari NES. All those, so they, the pixelated games kind of have a special place in my heart. So I love playing them. October 1891. Videt Nequis Skiat. I have no idea what that language is. Uh, might be French, which I cannot speak, so I have no idea what that means. That's the only thing my dear old friend Anthony Beechworth wrote in his letter. It's been many years since I last heard that sentence. It used to be the motto of the science and philosophy group that we were se that we secretly ran back when we were in that secluded boarding school in Scotland. We left it all behind like simple childhood memories. And I need to learn how to speak tonight. I can never speak. But it was unusual. That letter could only mean something awful must have happened. Something that must remain absolutely secret. I had to find out what was going on. Without delay, I took the first morning train to Sussex to the address on the letter. And there it was, the old hold of, home of Anthony's family, the Beechworth Mansion. Chapter 1, The Letter. Okay, yay, now we get to... Oh, okay. Okay, for a second there, it looked like he was giving me the middle finger. So apparently this is a murder crows is eagerly eagerly eating something. Yeah, I gotta love the fact that they gave a the name a group of crows the name a murder of crows. Yeah, that's wonderful. Let's see if we can see what, Nope, they're too vicious. Getting close could be dangerous. Door's locked. It's locked from the inside. It's just rubbish. Okay, so let's see. Because this is supposed to be a creepy game. This is weird. Everything is silent. Like there's no one living here. Yeah, I gotta love that. I'm worried about Anthony. I have to find him. Okay, it's... Oh, that music. A note on the table. 
Dear Mr. Beechworth, due to the recent events, the situation has become unbearable for us, and much to our regret, we have no other choice but to leave. We will remain forever grateful for all these years at your service. God bless you. Mr. and Mrs. Brewer. So I'm guessing his servants left. Portrait of Anthony. He looks older than I expected. Grandfather clock. It's the only sound around here. Yes, and it's a creepy sound at that. That's one of those things that kind of gets me is that, um, quiet except for the sound of a clock. Gramophone. It looks rusty. Drink cabinet with glasses, some crystal bottles, and a matchbox. Only these matches could be useful. That's the reason why I went over there. Fireplace looks like it has been cleaned in a long time. That large window is wide open. Lend the cold dusk air in. Why don't we go over there and close it? Okay, as we're just wondering. Landscape painting. Landscape painting. Crooked painting. Let's fix the, fix the crooked painting. Oh. An old rosary with a solid wood crucifix. Let's grab that. We might need that. Landscape painting. Small plant brings some life to this place. Okay, another door. Let's go in here. What's this? I think that was just the music. March 5th, 1891. Master made us get rid of our religious objects. What is going on with him? Luckily, I found a place to hide my rosary. I can't pray every night without it. Master, been, Master has been complaining about Alfie. What would a simple cat do to him? He ordered us to keep him out of the house at all times. Still, I can't let that poor thing starve. He's such a clever cat. Every time I open the window, he knows food is waiting for him. Anyway, I'm worried about the Master. He's growing more and more unlike himself every day. September 15th, 1891. Take a breath. M Mr. Beechworth is spending whole days locked inside his office. He wants us to leave him food at the door, but he barely eats anything. I'm really worried. What is going on here? Empty bowl like the ones used to feed a pet. Let's open the window. The window won't stay open. Looks like the wood is giving up. Need some sort of cord to keep it open. A lamp, it will come in handy, so let's grab it. Nothing of interest in the drawers. Some toiletries. Yeah, because we all know investigating a giant mansion at dusk is a brilliant idea. It's padlocked. It's not just locked, it's padlocked. Okay, so let's see what other... Painting is on the floor and the frame is broken. Okay, so let's see what other things we can find. Okay, plate with some days old leftovers. Plates and pans, kitchen stove and cleaning cloth. Variety of cooking ingredients. Let's see if we can grab anything here. Oh, we got old cloth. Plates and pans. Nope, all this is just look at it. Let's check this door. I unlocked the door. Oh, it's the back door. Did I throw something at you? Nope. Okay. Oh, we can fast forward by... Nope. It won't fast forward that time. Nope. <laughs> nope, we got to. Okay, we've got a lamp now. Okay, that's locked. It won't open. Okay, this just got creeper. Creep. Creeper. Creepy. It's not gonna blow up in my face. Some wood planks have been nailed up to this doorway. I can't remove them with my bare hands. Looks like some of the paintings are missing. Oh, this just got really creepy really fast. Double bed. It's covered in dust. Seems like no one has slept here for days. Gentleman with a serious and inquisitive look. Fireplace hasn't been used in a long time. Family portraits. Okay, so... 
Window leads to a balcony that commu communicates with the adjacent room. So let's... Let me guess, it's locked. Can't open the latch, it's stuck. Perhaps, perhaps I could force it with a small tool. Let's use the rosary. Nope. Silver key. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I know I'm just reading a lot of this. Just reading what's going on. But... It's very interesting. It's locked. Nope. So we need to find the other one. I mean, yeah, some people might say that the graphics don't look that great, but I'm... I'm actually really liking this. I love... I love mysteries. I always have, and... It won't open. Yeah, it's... I've always liked mystery stories and all that. Where you have... And I like games where you have to actually go around and find out what's going on. Like... I mean, I tried to play Indigo Prophecy not too long ago. Thing... It crashed on me. So, and it didn't turn out that great, so I didn't bother um, editing it. But, um, I really want to try to play that game because of the fact that it's a supernatural mystery game, and like I said, those things always fat. Mysteries have always caught my interest. It's padlocked. There we go. I don't like this. Slate record, a slate record titled The Carnival of Venice. Let's grab it. And let's keep on going into the creepy basement. Some firewood. Is oh. oh, that is... Boy, it looks like it's been out of use for a long time. Let's light it. I don't need to light the boiler. Some firewood. Let's get out of this creepy, creepy place. And yeah, I'm thinking about shaving. I don't like the mustache. I never have. Ugh. So yeah. Makes me look too much like Shaggy. Well, the goatee also doesn't help either. But yeah, I look way too young without the goatee. Look like I'm like 17. Yeah, that's not good. At least not. My opinion, it's not good. Oh wait, we got this. Now there's a record on the gramophone. Gramophone. Now play it. Must be broken. I don't know how to make it stop. The music stopped abruptly. Oh, shit! Hello! Um... Fuck you! Fuck you! Yeah, that's what I gotta say about that! There's a dying crow amidst a pool of blood. Let's grab the dying crow. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm our. Oh, come on, can't. I really don't want to go in here, but. Oh, the crows are gone. Oh, I think it finally died. Nope, nope, it's still alive. And it's still creepy as fuck. Okay. Oh, please, just die already. Can't I just bash your skull in? That would be nice. Okay, so now we're going... Leave me alone. For God's sakes, what happened in... Oh! The lifeless body of a woman. It's been here for a few days. Looks like she's clutching a note in her hand. 
Writing what will surely be my final thoughts. Shut up, Crow! Ah, oh, My last line's my last breath. I don't know what kind of dark power has turned my husband and what he is now. A stranger with a look bereft of all sanity, compassion, and human warmth. I don't know that shadow... I don't know that shadow that slowly darkened our lives. I don't know this foreign host that now dwell in our souls. I don't know where it's from, but I'm sure it is not from this world. I will meet my brothers and sisters soon. I will be free from this abyss of madness and fear. Soon I will stop trembling. Oh, what's that? A hairpin. Let's grab it. Might need it. Okay, stab the crow. Uh, what's he? Oh, shut up. It's a letter. Dear Margaret... Or Marguerite. Margaret. It's been days since Anthony left his office. I can hear him whisper angrily, frightfully, and it gets worse at night. Our servants left a few days ago. Without their help and care, I'm lost. I can barely walk out of bed. Not even the doctor would come here after his argument with Anthony. He has developed this horrible ability to break anyone's will. I don't know what to do. I don't have any strength left. I wish I could send you this letter, your dear friend. An old wheelchair. Uh, nothing of interest. A letter in a feeble handwriting. I can't go on. All is lost. It's a diary page. I can't stand their stares. They watch me. They judge me. They despise me. I know they think I'm not worthy of this family. Who are they but dust and bones? A memory. Leave me. I don't need you. Leave me alone. Which is what is written in blood. Yay. Oh! An adult woman, she looks really pale. Young Anthony, just like I remember him. Woman holding a baby, she looks happy. An old, severe-looking man, his gaze unsettles- Shut up, crow, please, just die! His gaze unsettles me. Teenage girl, she has a sad face. A young man, one of Anthony's relatives. And of course, I have to walk over to look at this one. Portrait Anthony with a stuffed lynx. It looks like he's very proud of his valued animal. The paint looks fresher around the lynx's head. Nope, can't stick the crow on there. Burn it? Nope. Okay, so I gotta find something to wipe the paint, or get rid of the paint. That would just spread out the fresh, fresh paint, so... Ugh. Oh, I used the crowbar. Maybe the hairpin will open this. There we go. We opened the latch. We're in here. There's the stuffed links. Looks like the one in Anthony's portrait. Oh, shut up. A few handwritten notes. That goddamn cat. He meows every night and it's for me. I know it. He's mocking me. He knows my secret. He knows. I won't let him ruin everything. I don't have any choice, but I have to put an end to his miserable life. Or better yet, I will make him blind. You Gabby Gabby Lynx, you won't confess. You wouldn't. Some sort of spilled chemical product. Common hammer in good condition. Grab that hammer. We might need it. Can of thinner. Oh, there we go. That's what we need. Remains a chemical experience. Uh, experiments! Some strange books. They're written in a language I don't know. Map of the region with markings on it. I've unlocked the door. Yeah, that's one of the things I saw that a lot of people said this was a... A golden keyhole, so I didn't have to find a key. A lot of people said that this was kind of a Lovecraftian game. Part of the reason why I wanted to try it, because I'm a big, big fan of H.P. Lovecraft. I love his works, and I love things that are based off of his works. Like, I've actually thought about doing a series about games like this. Too much thinner. Oh, old cloth and thinner. 
And then we take the wet cloth and wipe it. What do we find? The inner's work, fresh spray around the links his head is now gone. I can see their I can see the original painting. The lynx is different. Its mouth is open as if it was growling. Okay, so... I'd rather... Oh, come on, just... Seriously, that crow is getting on my nerves. Why can't I just bash its head open? Bash its head open! Okay, I have no idea, and seriously... I do just want to kill that stupid crow. Okay. So... I gotta use the crow for something. Okay, that's... I don't... Hold on for a minute. While I wander around. You guys know the drill. The drill. I really can't speak tonight. You guys know the drill. I get lost all the time. Oh, you use the rosary. Keeps the window open. And put... Uh, thank you. Finally got rid of that annoying crow. Whoa. Felt like something touched my chair. I know, I'm a wuss. I don't want to make a mess. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. It is. It is kind of creepy. I do like it. It's got real atmosphere to it. And God, I've been sweating a lot today. I apologize for the mess my hair is. Oh, but this back room where I record, it's hot. There's no air ventilation. Why'd you all of a sudden stop? What did... Where did the crow go? There's a trail of blood from the bowl to that hole in the wall. Oh, you just got creepy. Oh, you're in the basement, aren't you? No, I don't want any. I don't want any. Oh. Are you in the boiler? Okay, we'll rescue the cat. Oh, shit. There's no chest with a dark cloak, a mask, and a knife. Only this knife could be useful. Yeah, just in case I need to stab something. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Why is there always a basement in horror stories? There's always a basement. But maybe I can use the, the knife to pry open the lynx's mouth now. I think it's this way. Yeah. Okay. No, you're, it won't open, so... Let's check the lynx now. Yeah, you probably noticed that I lean forward a lot when I'm recording. 
It's because the way my, I don't know if I've said yet or not, but it's because the way my desk is. My chair will roll underneath the desk, so if I sit back in my chair, I'm far away from the camera. So I'd rather be a little bit closer so you get, guys can actually see my face. Okay, yep, we pry the mouth open. Get the golden key, and we use the golden key up there. Oh, yay. Oh, God, no. Anthony, no. Lifeless body of my dear friend. Portrait Anna, Anthony's wife. It looks like those were happier times. Okay, let's get him down. There's a sealed letter in his pocket. Dear J. DeVitt, if you're reading these lines, then I'm nothing but a dead body hanging before you. I write you in my last shreds of lucidity. You can't possibly know how pleased I am knowing that you arrived on time. You are one of my oldest friends, and when I sent you the letter asking you to come here, I didn't doubt for one moment that you would. Had you failed me this night, everything would be lost. I have found myself re involved in a series of horrible incidents. For reasons beyond my comprehension and sanity, I have become a total stranger to myself and to my closest relatives, capable of the most indescribable and atrocious acts. Can't give you any more details now. I must ask you to go immediately back to the boarding school where we made that pact, where we all said that sentence that would always protect us and swore with our honor before the other members. This letter must not reach anyone else, so I'd like you to destroy it immediately. The lives of the rest of the group and yours are in great danger. Do not delay. They are already waiting for you. Seeing is believing, DeVitt. Don't forget it. Always your loyal friend, Anthony Beechworth. Whoa, shit! Oh! Screw you, Kroos! Screw you! Okay, so that is chapter one. Oh! As it just opened the web page. Yeah, you got. You didn't say anything. So, yeah. So, yeah, um, this was actually pretty interesting. I, I kind of like these point-and-click adventure games, especially the creepy ones. I really like the creepy ones because it's, they're slower paced, yeah, but the atmosphere is usually really good in them. So, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description below. A link in the description below, if I could speak. So you all can try it for yourselves. I highly suggest the what I just played through the pilot is free and then it's like it's in pounds, but if you buy the entire thing, it's like six six bucks, which really is not that bad a price, especially for indie horror games. I mean, yeah, I know you can get free ones, but this one's done pretty well. I like it. I love the soundtrack, the sound, everything about it. So, yeah, I highly suggest you guys give this a try and play through the entire series, which I am going to do. I'm going to play through Act 1, which has four chapters, and then, depending on how things go, I might play the other chapter, Chapter 2, or Act 2, whatever, however they have this divided up. So, yeah. So... Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.